Today we're going to get into something a little bit different besides building and repairing guitars. Um, it is guitar related though. Um, we're going to make some single coil bobbins. So um, I got a bag full of pickup parts that I got sent to me. Now I got a video for that where I show the unboxing of this. And if uh, you want to check that out, there's a link right here. You can go check out this video. But anyways, when they sent me, they sent me a bunch of Alninko 5 magnets. They got me three sets of unmagnetized Alninko 5 magnets. So that's what we're going to use today. And what we're going to do is something I've been thinking about doing for a while, and that's making some wooden bobbins. Making some wooden uh, single coil bobbins, putting these um, Alninko 5 magnets in it, and just seeing how it turns out, and seeing what it... Um, what it looks like. I got some maple, some scrap maple over in the corner. I got some scrap uh, walnut, I believe. So I'm going to take a look at um, what we got over there and see what I think is going to look the best and make some uh, Stratocaster single coil bobbins and put the magnets in it. I also got a set of uh, Alnico 3 magnets and I might do, if it turns out, I might do a set of uh, Telecaster single coils too um, using walnut or uh, maple. So. I'm going to walk over to my scrap bin here and we're going to look through some wood. I went through my uh, pile of scrap and I found a couple pieces from some necks that I built. And um, this is maple and mahogany. And I, I thought I had some walnut, but apparently I don't. I thought I did, but this is all mahogany. And this will work. So what we're going to do is, you can see where I cut the one down. I still got that strip of mahogany and I'll probably just run this to the planer and get the um, plant down to where the maple's going to have that strip of, that's probably like eighth inch thick um, mahogany in there. But what I have already done is over the winter I actually made base plates out of maple and some mahogany tops. I made a bunch of this stuff over the winter uh, but I never did anything with it and I kind of forgot about them. They were just laying in an old um, Water bowl. I got humbuckers and single holes in there, mahogany and maple. So these are just laying around. I forgot about them. And I found them. So I'm just going to use these and save this wood for another time. So what I got is this is this rough cut out right now. So I got to go back through um, and basically sand them down to where they need to be. These are the three bottoms that I got. Three mahogany tops, and they're close too, but they still need the sides. The corner sanded down up here is pretty good. So we're going to I'm going to take a straight edge or a sandy block and go ahead and sand this stuff to where it fits where I want it to fit in the pit guard right and then from there we'll be ready to start drilling out some holes. Alright, so there's the three tops. And they fit down in the like I want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start um, getting the bottoms cut out, getting them sanded down, and we gotta drill um, two holes to put them little ferrules in or whatever they're called for the solder hookup. We gotta put them in. So we'll get these cut down and get them holes drilled in for that. And then after that, we'll drill the six holes for our magnets to go into. So I got my my bottoms um, sanded down here where they're good to go and I went ahead and drew center lines on the bottom and then drew center lines on the tops and I flipped them upside down that's why you're seeing maple I got the mahogany it's got a thin stripe of maple on it that'll go down so I got them upside down I drilled the holes and I flipped them back over um, to put them back to put them together so I got center lines drawn and now we're going to take these and basically Set them on there, line up the center lines. Uh, use a piece of probably masking tape or double stick tape. I'm not sure yet. And get them centered up there where they should be. And then we'll take them over to the drill press, drill the six holes in the top, then come back, pull these off, and then drill our small these things here. Insert them so we have somewhere to solder our um, two wires on. 
drill them up in the front here on all the bottoms. And then from there, we're ready to put the magnets in. So I got my holes drilled in the bottoms and I got my holes drilled in the tops here. And now we're just gonna come back through. We're gonna drill a one eighth hole in the bottoms in the center here and then two five sixty-fourth inch holes so we can install these ferrules. And once we get them three holes drilled, we can come back through, install the magnets, and get ready to put some sealer on.